Welcome to Politecnico di Milano and to our School of Management. If you are here, you are interested in doing a PhD with us. And uh, we are going to see together what is a PhD, why doing a PhD with us, uh, and what we can do for you. And uh, the PhD is the highest degree in the university sector. And the word the PhD, philosophy doctor, is, uh, comes from the Latin and the word philosophy, philosophia, from the Greek, which is uh, law of wisdom. This is the center of a PhD, which is different from other titles, from the Master of Science, the Bachelor, because the center of a PhD is the development of research, of something new, and that can be useful for the society. And uh, what you, is important also to know is that the graduates, uh, PhD graduates, uh, uh, have higher salaries uh, and also better job satisfaction which is something very important. But if we want to really look at the distinctive and why to do the PhD now, is that because we need in our society. OECD uh, tells us that PhD older uh, play a key role in the society. They drive the knowledge and uh, they drive the knowledge in particular in science and technology. And this is why we need to do the PhD in Politecnico di Milano. Politecnico di Milano is the first university in Italy. It's a technical university in architecture, engineering and design. And if you look at the QS ranking, we are ranked 149 in the world. And if you just look at the technical and engineering, we are 20th in the world, 7th in Europe and 1st in Italy. So we are an outstanding technical university. The School of Management is part of this dream of pushing forward the technology, the science. And our vision as School of Management are an important piece related to what AOECD tells us because we want to uh, create knowledge and educate future responsible leaders for a collective benefit. And we do this with education indeed, but also with the research that you and us develop together. Practically, what we do for you. And uh, in our program, we support you both in the development of the research, but also in something more. First of all, uh, across the PhD path, you are supervised and challenged with supervisor, discussion, and also a tutor. And in doing the research and development, uh, being a technical and empirical university, first of all, we challenge you in something new that you didn't experience before, because you were used in the Master of Science, in the Bachelor, in solving problems. What is distinctive of a PhD with us is that, first of all, you need to find your problem. So you need to set a problem. Think, for example, sample self-driving cars, which is the problem. Where do you start? This is a typical of a PhD, starting to find a research question. But then we are at Polytechnico, and we believe that the engagement with practice is central. So you do empirical investigation and we support you in setting the right methods for the question that you have shaped. Finally, and in the development of your research, we think that the dissemination of your work is essential, otherwise it remains between me and you. And so we help you in understanding how to disseminate your work and networking, which is essential to contribute to the society. But we do something more in our school. Not only we supervise in your research, but we want your personal development, your capability development. And so we provide capability training, first of all, with a large course offer but also, again, with our discussion supervisor and tutor. And we train your 
research method skills. You need to do you need to do empirical work, but you need to know which are the best methods to do this. Then we provide also courses and training in interaction and communication skills. So you can be ready to provide a speech at the international level with practitioners, with academics. Finally, something which is crucial not only for academics, but for the majority of people now, you are surrounded by thousands of sources, which are the reliable ones, which are the ones that are most suitable for your research. It's really a hard job. So we provide courses and support in doing this. So, summarizing, our PhD program is distinctive which, because we provide support in your research, but also we develop your personal capability. And we do this in a three-year program that you see in this slide. And we have, of course, the development of the thesis, the courses that we discussed before, and finally, something very important for your future. Uh, the international exposure. We have a period abroad that you have to do in a foreign university using our network or finding other university. And finally, we push you to go to international conferences and we provide financial aid for doing this. It's important also to know that we have three different tracks in our PhD, two full-time tracks, one is more oriented to the academic career, the second is more oriented to the industrial career, in which we develop uh, things uh, together with companies, uh, institutions, public sector. Finally, there is a third path, uh, which is devoted to senior professional in company and institution, which is the uh, part-time executive PhD. Uh, the economic support that we provide is related for full-time candidates to a scholarship and the average uh, ranges between 100 and 400 and uh, 1,500 euros, but see our link on the website for details. Every year you have an increase of 50% when you are abroad and also important that the scholarship can be increased if you participate in our teaching activities, seminar and projects. Finally, as we said before, you have an annual budget that supports you in international conferences or doing your empirical work. So this is our path seems to be very clear, the research development uh, courses. Uh, so the PhD clear and easy? Is for everyone? Let's see what our PhD candidates think about that. Our community. Some think that the PhD is a puzzle in which you have these domino pieces and you don't know where to start from. Some other think that it's a journey, but you see a particular type of journey in which you need to hike mountains. So it's not easy. But at the end, some of them told us that it's a discovery. It is a discovery in which you push the science and technology beyond the current boundary. So it's a hard path. And this is important to know because we want the best students with us. And uh, you will have many doubts during your PhD. First of all, you will wonder if you are researching something relevant. You will feel lonely, alone, and uh, you don't know what to read because you think that everything is relevant for you, but there are too many things to do. And uh, there is also another important thing that happens to you to me, to every researcher, the writer's block. You cannot write. You think that you cannot write. And uh, you need to find your own way to uh, encounter this path. But again, we are a community. 
And so in our PhD program in management engineering, we support you also with something very important, which is our community. Our community is a large and outstanding community. As you can see, we have more than 100 core professors, but we have an adjunct faculty linked to our business school of nearly 50 professors. But moreover, we have 5,000 students, we have a community of alumni which is very large. And all together, we fight for improving the society. And uh, being with us, you are part of our dream to lead and to train future leaders. And these are the things that we are developing now and related to applied economics, management and industrial engineering. Our alumni, both in our Master of Science, but moreover in the PhD, are crucial with us. And this, in this slide, you see four of our alumni which are working in different places in a foreign university like Andrea Beatrice is a consultant and uh, you see instead Marco is a senior professional who did the P executive PhD and finally Julia who is the youngest and is with us and is doing the academic career. As you can see the opportunities are very large in the academia and in the private and public sector. All these four alumni highlight the importance of the international exposition and the fact that PhD also has, has trained them to be ready to interact to the international exposition. Uh, let's see also in a broader way where you can go and uh, which type of organization now value the PhD. Easy, thousands of organizations. First of all, the academia. As you know, the PhD is required to enter the academia. So if you want to go in academia, you need to have the PhD. And the PhD from a university which is ranked high in the QS, you know, is very important. Second, as we said, OECD is supporting the uh, PhD and thinks that this is very important. All the international bodies, NGO, international institution have the PhD as a requirement for the most important position in leadership. But it's not only this kind of international organization because we have now an increasing trend in startup and innovative companies in two ways. First, their positioning. Finally, something that is more recent, consultancy firms. This is mainly linked to the complexity of the technology and again, the digital transformation. So again, we are the right university because they are now searching us for helping them in finding new way to enter this technological forest. So this is our program in Manhattan to get the best from your PhD. Come with us.